Hello all, welcome to rotten.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create AR recipe from the UI, and also we'll discuss some of the tables involved for AR recipe. Okay, so AR recipe comes in the part of O2C cycle. So generally, if you observe the O2C process, like uh, generally we start with sales order, then the invoice, then receipt, then the cash management, and then the GL ledger. Okay, so we can also create AR receipt independent of sales order or invoice, and we can just post the AR receipt to GL journal. Okay, so initially we'll try to understand what is the navigation of it, how do we create it. Okay, so the navigation for creating a receipt is you have to navigate to receivables application and then you have to click on account receivables and then you have to click on in the task list of in the task list of your particular account receivables you have to click on create receipt hyperlink okay so now let's go to the ui and we'll try to create a receipt now so now i'm in my fusion erp so i'll click on receivables application and then here you click on account receivables and then let us see the task list here so in the task list it shows the list of things like where we can create a receipt and we can create a receipt and using a spreadsheet nothing but adfdi and then you can also manage a receipt okay so you can you can search the receipt you can edit it you can delete it and now we'll start with creation of a receipt so let's click on create receipt and now the first thing is you have to observe is like a, what kind of receipt it is so you have a standard as miscellaneous and then the by default the initial status is new now i'll check the business unit let's say i'll go with easy as one business unit and the receipt method nothing but like uh, generally when you do a payment to any of the uh, supplier what happens is like um, so like uh, you have a mode of, you have a payment mode right it can be cash or a check or a wire kind of transfer method so now in this kind of in this one like let us say I'll select a specific receipt method let us say check okay so you have received an amount from a customer via check so now mention the receipt number okay and now in which bank you want to remit it nothing but let us he paid some amount via check to you and in which where do you want to de deposit it right so now i'll say you can go with the default and let's say you can mention the customer number or maybe in some scenarios like uh you may get a miscellaneous receipt where in like uh, nothing but a couple of couple of payment you would have received so you can't mention a specific customer name right in those kind of scenarios you just ignore that you not you will not mention the customer and just simply create a receipt now here in this case like generally when you create a receipt customer name is not mandatory and now let us say amount is mandatory just mention the amount and i'll just say and remember the receipt number xxora001002 and i'll say submit of course there are other parameters where you can enter now in our case i just mentioned only the basic set of information okay and then now the receipt got created you can just search the receipt like uh, click on the task list here and click on manage receipt and the manage receipt you have to mention either you can mention batch number or you can mention the receipt member so let's say i'll mention the receipt number okay so this is our receipt okay and the amount is 2500 as of now we have not submitted to ledger so now what i will do is like i'll just click on post to ledger so once you click on post to ledger what will happen the receipt amount like whatever the information which you mentioned right that will get posted to gl ledger right so i'll just click on post to ledger and now it will get posted to ledger okay may it may take a couple of seconds yeah it got posted so now time being what i'll do is i'll just try to go to the bip and here what i'll do is I'll just mention my receipt number, okay? And we'll try to find out what is the general header name or a batch name, right? So now, okay, it is not yet posted, it seems like, uh, let's see. Okay. Let me save first of all, okay? Yeah, now we can try again. Let me check this table actually, whether it is hard coded or something. Yeah, here receipt number. Okay. It's not there yet. Yeah, sorry, this is the one, right? So now here, if you observe, this is a transaction date, this is accounting code information, and here, where is the name source category j line debit credit and the receipt name 
as of now it is showing this one this is a receipt name it is showing okay uh, sorry this is a header name it is showing okay so we'll just go here in the journals i'm in the general screen now i just want to check the like uh, we have posted our receipt to the gl and we want to validate that information so now like um, go to journal like i'll show you a screen from starting so I'll just click on home screen now click on general accounting and click on journals and in the task list click on many journals and now here mention the journal name yeah this is one okay so you can just see the journal name which is with the 2500 because by default what is happening is it is creating the receipt with a period name followed by the the source okay that's why the name is like that now so in our case like we know that the receipt which we created is uh, this one like uh, 2500 and uh, you can just see what is a set of header information line information and also line in, uh, this one like headers and lines okay 2500 and these are the accounts so this particular accounting details will get populated based on the subledger accounting rules which we configure okay so now let's get back to the main information like uh, what are the tables involved and all those things right so so the first and foremost information about the ar receipt is like uh, the main table in which you have the receipt information is the ar cash receipt salt table okay so when you create a receipt as we have seen like uh, we have a receipt date number and org id right and also we have seen the it, it also has a customer information like if at all if you enter the customer information you have to join the heads at tables like heads at parties cost account sites and locations and if at all if you mention the invoice details you have to join with the customer table like uh, sorry ar invoices table and based on the status of your ar receipt okay so then you have to join with this particular ar cash receipts table and uh, when you're applying the invoice to a specific customer I mean, specific invoice. We are applying your your particular receipt to a specific invoice. You can men, like uh, this will have the information about that, uh, like uh, to which invoice you are applying, right? This is how you will join with the AR like RA customer transactions all table. Now coming to the other one, like uh, we have seen, like uh, based on the receipt me receipt methods, you have the appropriate bank in bank information, and uh, then the batch information. Generally, when you create the receipt individual from the UI, you may not have the information about the batch. But when you're creating the receipt via FBDI or using ADFDI, you need to mention the batch details. Okay. So in those kind of scenarios, what will happen is you have to mention the batch name and what are the receipt which you create via ADFDI. Initially, it will not be available in the AR cash receipt table. It will be available in the AR interim cash receipts all table. So I'll just show you one example here. So, so let me check here. Sorry, here. So now here, if you observe in this one, so the set of receipts which are there still in the ready to post status. So these set of receipts will not be available in the air cash receipts table. They will be available only in the interim batch table. Okay. So if at all, if you want to get the information about what 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 set of receipts were available in your interim uh, receipt information, you just need to join these two tables to get all the data which you entered, like um, batch number, batch ID, and uh, like the amount, the control amount, the set of like information about the control amount, actual amount, the number of receipts, and the date, accounting date, creation date, and also the receipt number, customer details, everything you can get uh, via using these particular two tables. Okay, so this is all about you know like uh, the information about the AR cash table. Generally, like unlike another set of tables where you always have a line kind of distribution, but in the AR receipt you'll not have like uh, multiple tables. The main table is AR cash receipt and the application of table like uh, the sub transactions of the ar receipt like uh, payment schedules or you know like uh, when you apply the receipt so these are the other tables which will have the information like receivable applications and payment schedule will have the further information about the status of the receipt okay and the remaining are all tca tables and the other one is like uh, the master data table like a uh, business unit table okay and um, if you want to have some more information about your like um, receipt methods batch sources and all, like you can join with the other set of tables okay Yep. So this is all about the AR receipt information in the Oracle Fusion. Thank you.